Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own electronic signature using the OneNote application. This process works for both Android or iOS users. It's a very simple and easy process to have your very own electronic signature. Here on my PC now, you can see that I have my very own electronic signature which I created. And you can see if I should expand this right here, you can see the quality is still very high here as well. And you can also resize it as well to whatever size you want the signature to be. So it's a very easy and convenient way of getting your own very electronic signature. So let me quickly delete this. Let's assume this is a document that you would like to get your signature on or you would like to sign. Before we head over to our mobile device, I want you all to go to the bottom of the search bar and search for OneNote for Windows. Then you should see the best option here pop up at the top of the, of the search. So it's called OneNote for Windows. You just click on this. And this is free for um, Windows users, for all Windows users. It's, it comes pre-installed with your Windows or your desktop computer. I have mine already open because I have signed into my Microsoft account. And I have used the OneNote application for the Windows that's on my computer. So it's possible when you open this up for the first time on your computer, You'll be prompted by windows to sign in with your microsoft account so if you have a microsoft account just put in your sign in details and then you can log into the one with application so all you need to do is just to click on whatever notebook here you have open and make sure you get to a place where you have more notebooks and once you get to a place like this all you need to do here is to go to the bottom of the page and click on add notebook if you click on this it should pop up like this and then you should give the notebook your new notebook you want to create a particular name so i'll just call this signature once you're okay with the name you just press create notebook and then once this notebook has been created here we have a section which you can add more sections if you want by going to the bottom here to click add section and you can also add pages as well if you go here you can also add pages but here let's just call this page right now let's just call this sign and once you are okay with the name, you can notice here at the top right corner of the page, this is syncing with your OneDrive. And the reason we do this is that when we install the OneNote app on our mobile device, we can easily find this notebook and then we can sign with our mobile device and then it will be synced up here to our computer. And once you do this, now we can head over to our mobile device. So the first thing we are going to do is to open up our phone, either using an iPhone or an Android and then we'll sign a signature on the phone. I'll be using an Android phone for this process and it's the same thing for both Android or iOS. And the application we're going to be using to do this is called the OneNote app. And the OneNote app is what you can use to create notes or make some scribbles or some little jottings or writings. And you can also use this also to sign documents as well. So the first thing we're going to do if you're on Android is to go to the Play Store while if you are on iPhone or if you have an iPhone or you're using an iPad, then you have to go to your app store. So if I should just click on the Play Store now, then the next thing I'm going to search for is OneNote. I want you to do that, the best option should pop up and then you should click on that. And then once you see this, you would have the option to either install or to get the application as if you're on iOS. But I have already downloaded the OneNote application. So all I need to do now is to open up the application. So once you have yours installed, you just click on open. And the OneNote application is entirely free. It's completely free. And once the OneNote app is open, if you haven't signed in or you have not installed or used the OneNote application before, you'll be prompted by the OneNote application to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account, just put it in. If you don't have one, you may have to create a Microsoft account. Then you can sign into the into the OneNote application. And once the application is open and you've signed in, or if you had it before and you signed in already, you should get a page like this. Once you're here, you just press back. And then here, the next thing you need to do is to is for us to search for the notebook we created on the computer. You know, we created a notebook on the computer before coming to the before coming to a mobile device. Now, what you need to do to find the notebook we created is to just is to click on more notebooks and then you can see it is trying to retrieve our notebooks for us 
and then when it's done you can see that this was the notebook we created on the computer so you just you're just going to click on this and then this should load the notebook into the into the page where we can access the notebook and make and sign our signature so here once the notebook that we created on the computer has been signed into the into the page into the front page here you just click on the signature and here once you go into a notebook the next thing we have are called sections so here you can decide to create more sections if you want at the top right corner of the page we have a plus icon there you can click on that to add more notebooks if you want and then let's just go with the, the one let's just go with the one created for us here you can see this is the page we give a name on the computer give the name sign you can see it's here already here also you can add more pages like i told you before on the computer looking at the bottom right corner of the page you can see there's a plus sign there so you can add more pages if you want so let's just go into the page which we have already here now this is the place where we are going to sign our signature but right now the phone is in a portrait view or a portrait mode so i would want to turn the phone to a landscape mode so that we can have more space to sign the signature so all you need to do is just rotate your phone and let and put it in the landscape mode then we sign the signature so once you have been able to turn your phone to a landscape mode where we can have more space if you look at the top right corner of the page there's a pen icon over there if you'd want to sign on the one not app you just have to click on that and once you click on that something like this should pop up on your screen and once this is here then you can sign your signature So you can see now I've put down a signature here on the space provided for me. Let's assume maybe you made a mistake and you don't like the signature. You can either use the erase button here to erase um, the signature or you can use the back button here to go back to undo whatever mistake you have made while signing your signature or documenting whatever you are documenting. So once you are okay with whatever you have signed or you have written down, all you just need to do now is just to go back and press back. Press back one more time and this should automatically be synced with the OneNote application on your computer and also don't worry about the color we use to sign the signature in the OneNote application for Windows on the computer you can easily change the color to whatever color you want to use so now let's head over to OneNote app on the computer so once you're back on your PC the next thing you need to do is just search for the OneNote application for Windows 10 you can see I have mine already here brought to me so I can just click on this to open it and you can see already here the signature we signed on our mobile device is already showing here on my computer on my OneNote application for Windows 10 so here the next thing you need to do is if you don't see your signature showing here immediately once you open up the OneNote application you might need to go here to the top left corner of the page and click on this navigation uh, tab right here and once you do this you can click on here whatever um, notebook you have open here click on this and this and this should collapse or bring out all available notebooks you have on your one note application for windows 10 then you should find the one the notebook you created initially before we went to the mobile device and once you find it you just click on it and then the sections will open and then you should have the page already showing with your signature on it in it sorry but if you don't find the signature showing here you just click on this right here and then once you are in the notebook we created right click on the notebook we created look for sync click on sync and then click on sync all notebooks this will enable this notebook to try to retrieve and update whatever information it has connected to all the devices so this will try to update whatever information has been put on any of the devices on the one applications you have so you just click on sync all notebooks and then you have something here at the top right corner going around trying to update your notebook and then i think you should find your signature once your signature comes up here we can collapse this here and then once you can see your signature to change the color like i told you you can click on the signature like this to highlight or to select the signature you have signed or it's possible if your signature is not attached together maybe when you were signing you had to take off your hand from the screen and sign something else if you select just if you click on just one part of it it won't select everything so you can easily go to the bottom of the page here and then draw and then use the cursor to make sure you select every part of the signature 
to make sure every part of the signature is being highlighted in the box here like this and I think that should select all aspects of the signature you sign and then once you do that you just head to the top left corner of the page and then look for draw once you find draw you just click on this and here you, you, you can see we have a whole lot of functionalities and then you can easily click on black here and then you see the signature has changed to black and here you can see we have this arrow icon here you can click on this for more options and here you can see a whole lot of colors where you can choose from if you want your signature to be a particular color so you can decide to go with orange or green whatever thing you feel works for you or you can also try this rainbow design here you can see it also looks very nice but I know most people want black so you can select your black here and also at the bottom here we have more colors so you can select this to also go through the different types of colors we have here I'm just going to head back right now and then once you're okay with the color at the top here we have the font weights the sorry the stroke weights so you can decide to pick whatever uh, thing you feel is okay for you that is how thick the signature is going to look but I think this one here it's fine for me so I'm just going to select this and once you're okay with the color and stroke width of your signature, the next thing you're going to do is to click right here to exit the pen selection which you have made and then you can have your cursor back. And then once you're done with that, how do we bring our signature to our Microsoft Word document or to whatever document you would like to sign or to have your signature on? So once you're here in the selection tool, you just click on this here and then drag and select every part of your signature, make sure everything is selected. And then once you've done that, you can right click on the signature and then click here copy or you can also press Ctrl C to copy the signature and then head over to your Microsoft Word document or whatever document you have and then once you're on document, you just click here and then you can either press Ctrl V or you can right click also and also click on paste here and you can see we have our signature in high quality and it's very sharp and very clean as well. Now you can see our signature we have inserted, it's a little bit too big for the document. So to easily resize this, you can just click on the signature. But you can also see even as it's also very big, it still looks very good and the quality is also very high. So once you click on the signature here, you can go to the edge of the box here and just rescale this to whatever size you feel is okay for your document. And then once you do this here, you can see we have a space here. You can simply click on this empty space and then click on backspace. And here you can see the document now looks very fine and okay and very wonderful and nice quality. Let's say you want to create an image file which you can easily bring into your document. That is to sign, to put this on your document as your signature. So let's head over to the OneNote application. Here while you're on the OneNote application, you can always leave or save this here. And every time you want the signature, you can come over here and copy this from the OneNote application. And then put it on your Microsoft Word document or whatever document you have. But let's say you want to create a standalone document like a PNG or a JPEG file which you can have on your desktop that you can easily drag and drop it on whatever documents you have and you don't want to always come to the OneNote application to get the signature from here. What you're going to do here is once you're on the OneNote app, you, can, you have to make sure you select your signature as usual. But once you have the signature selected, you just right click here and then click on copy. Then what you're going to use to convert the signature into a PNG or a JPEG file is to open up Paint on your computer. So to open up Paint, head over to the bottom left corner of the page and then search for Paint. And here you should have Paint here pop up on the top of the search. So just click on Paint. And once you have Paint open, you can press Ctrl V to paste whatever you have copied from your OneNote application. And here now you can see I have my signature here. That a copy has been pasted here so what you're going to do next is to click on crop here i want to click on crop crop is going to delete the unnecessary white background that's around the signature so i click on crop you can see the white background has been deleted and once the white background has been deleted you just head over to the left the top left corner of the page and click on file and then you can click on save and here you can either decide to save a png or a jpeg file here or a gif file but the most important thing you need to know is that PNG doesn't have a background, doesn't have any background. But JPEG files come with the background. So here I would select PNG and then you can decide to, to pick the place where you want the file to be saved as. But me, I would save my file on the desktop and then I can give this a name, I can call this signature. And once you're okay with the name, you click on save. 
and then this that should have been saved on your desktop so let's head over to our desktop and look at our signature so now we are on our desktop and you can see here this is the signature which we have just recently saved so let's open it and look and look at how it is and here you can see the signature it's in very high quality and it has also been saved as a png file so we can easily close this and open up our microsoft word documents so let's minimize the microsoft word documents so let's delete this and you can easily drag this the newly created png file of our signature which you created you can easily drag this from here over to the document so let's see so you can see here but as usual the signature is very large so we can just simply reduce this here you can see here you can also remove the space here as well and reduce this a little bit then we can add the space back so you can see your very own electronic signature on your desktop easy for you to use anytime you want so easily drag and drop on whatever documents you want and also with very high and very nice quality okay guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and if you also enjoy content like this please subscribe to my channel as i post tech and social media tutorials like this regularly on my channel hope to see you on the next one have a great day